new series of uh, mobile application development and uh, in this series we are going to make uh, our uh, e-commerce application and we are uh, going to cover almost all the things all the features of e-commerce application step by step so let's get started so to create a project uh, what do we need is a type create react native project okay so here you have to come uh, in react native cli because uh, we are working on a cli project okay and uh, select your development environment if it you are OS is window or my quest right now I'm using my quest and I'm uh, my target is right now is Android so uh, I'm assuming that you have completed all of the installation steps that are need to uh, create a react native C application So I've done uh, all the steps and completed my uh, installation process. So right now what command do we need to create a project is this npx react native in it. So let's just copy it and paste it on your terminal and after in it you have to type your project name so in my case i'm creating a project with the name of yt youtube e-commerce e-commerce okay then this then just you have to press enter so uh, you don't have to type i think alphanumeric okay so it will be uh, let's say the name will be yt e-commerce now uh, just press enter okay so uh, right now our project is creating and i'll be back when it's created a complete our project so to start our project go to your project directory so my project directory is yt e-commerce so to start a project you will need a command like npx react native run and after run then if you are running on android you have to type android or if you are running on ios you have to type ios so right now we are covering covering almost all the covering android first and then we will jump to the ios later so press enter to run your project so here you can see my uh, android emulator is uh, starting and uh, my project is also creating So my uh, Android emulator is start is boot up successfully, and my project is creating. So uh, for the first time, it will take some time, but after the after first time, it will create it smoothly. So uh, I will also guide you how you can create your Android emulator. So let's just wait for our build to successfully complete it then I will tell you
okay so as you can see our application is successfully uh, created now our index is loading so once it's completed 100% our display will be also clear So as you can see over here that uh, uh, our build is successfully completed. So uh, right now uh, I'm opening my project in VS Code. I'm using VS Code as a code editor. So to open you have just have to type code dot and this will open automatically. So uh, you can use any code editor that you are using. Uh, I uh, personally uh, say you to uh, use VS Code okay. so in here we have an index and index is index.js and index.js is opening our app.js so let me first get rid of all these things so what do we have to that get rid of all the all this template we don't need this get rid of sections this thing we need a style sheet so just make it as it is and we just need a So we need a view, view, and this just have a text. Say splash because our first screen will be splash screen, and we also need a style sheet because we are using style sheet. So command S to save it. Text. Okay. We also need a text. Text. Okay. So as you can see that. Uh, these splash text is displaying so uh, we can talk we can continue it on our next video but uh, first uh, I have to tell you that how you can set up your emulator first so and Friday studio so right now I'm using the latest version dolphin of Android Studio and it is working fine you can also upgrade your Android Studio if you haven't and uh, let's just go to your virtual device manager so here you can see that my virtual device manager is already uh, created and but if uh, you want if there is showing nothing over here you can create your device and uh, so let me uh, so i'm using pixel 5 you can uh, easily create your device so what setting that, that you have to do like you have to select pixel 5 api 33 uh, i'm using this pixel 5 pixel 5 api 33 and while creating your so you can see over here and uh, so you after creating your uh, virtual device you have to go in your advanced setting and make the following changes like uh, it will be on quick boot and this will be ticked multi-core cpu and you can see the ram i give uh, give it to 4 gb of ram 256 of vm heap and internal storage is uh, almost 4 gb and my studio manages also 4 GB so uh, make these changes because it will help uh, your em uh, Android emulator to boot up fastly and work more uh, fast and uh, also it can save your changes when you are uh, coming back and reopening closing and reopening your uh, emulator again so uh, let's just process 
so creating a device is very simple very simple so you have to s- select my in my case i'm using pixel 5 then you have to select the next then you have to select what system image you are uh, using so i'm using the latest 33 then you have to go to the next and do the following setting that i have told you and click on finish then your device will be created it will take some time because the virtual device is in almost uh, uh, 3 to 4 gb of data will be downloaded okay so after creating device it will be show over here and in action you can simply go to the action and run your device so i hope you can understand so if you have any questions you can comment me in the comment box so uh, let's see you in the other video next video in which i am going to uh, create a splash screen and also our login screen thank you for watching